morning guys and welcome back to the channel today we're actually going to be talking about how i fit my setup on just a three and a half inch lift crazy aggressive setup everyone told me i couldn't do it i did it anyways and now i'm going to show you first let's check out the weather here in snowy minnesota and my truck is actually parked right there because I had to get my driveway plowed out. So let's go ahead and get her parked over here. Check out this bad boy. 200 horses of pure beast right there. There you have it guys. You will be seeing a lot of her this summer. I tell you what, yes you will. <sighs> If only, if only. <sighs> Let's start her up. Okay. That is a must for cold weather states. Remote start. A few moments later. <laughs> Guys, I just walked around my truck and the craziest thing happened. I'm about to show you right now. The truck ferry just left a $50 bill on my wheel. Definitely gonna keep it and reinvest it back in this truck. So let's put it in my bank account. And just like that, that 50 bucks is deposited. Now before I forget, if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about the lifted truck community and doing aftermarket things to your truck on a budget, um, as well as aftermarket parts by yourself. So that means do it yourself, okay? Um, so it's gonna be a lot about the journey of my truck and what I'm gonna do to it and what it looks like now and what it's going to look like and what it's going to become. As well as motor vlogging as you seen earlier, my motorcycle. So now would be a great time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also smash this notification button so every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Now let's get into what this video is actually about. And once again, that is how to fit 20 by 12s negative 44 offset and just in general just a crazy uh, wheel and tire setup on just a three and a half inch lift now my previous video which you can go back and look at that if you haven't already uh, is basically me doing a 360 walk around on my truck and just a few things that I've done to it and in that video I kind of touched on how I fit this setup but I really didn't go into wow that just hit my face and it was really cold. I don't know if you guys seen the snow and wind coming. Anyway, I didn't get into a detail detail about how I uh, fit the setup that I do have. So this is what this video is going to be and I'm gonna show you how I did it. I'm sorry that I actually can't show you physically and actually do the tutorial of how I did what I did to fit these but I will show you the best of my abilities how I did it. And how I did it was a NorCal tuck, all right? So what a NorCal tuck is, basically it's cutting into your vehicle and modifying it to actually fit what you're trying to fit and what you're trying to accomplish with your wheel and tire setup. Which means, yes, you are going to have to uh, saw into your metals and cut into your metals and push stuff back and you know rearrange stuff. Um, and there's, the right way to do it and the wrong way to do it. Uh, obviously, I did it the right way. I looked up a lot of videos on YouTube and I think Custom Offsets had their own video on how you did it and I just put all those videos together, got all the tools I need, so I had it in my mind what I needed to do and I went ahead and did it and did it successfully. Now, by no means am I a mechanic, certified mechanic or anything like that, but 
I do, it has to do with that type of field and I'm pretty good at it. So I'm really good at with my hands and stuff like that. So I was able to do it without any issues. I do not recommend anybody who is not mechanically inclined to try to go ahead and do this because you probably will mess something up, all right? So getting into it, I'm gonna show you exactly um, what I actually did step by step. So first things first, you obviously you're gonna to have to take your wheel off and tires that you already have on <clears throat> to do this. So you're gonna take them off so you have this whole open space to do what you need to do. The first thing you're gonna do is take off your inner wheel well liner so it exposes everything behind it. And basically, on this truck here, since I did it already, you see this big open space that's kinda of pushed back. If, if, if I didn't do what I did, this would kind of be like right here up against um, my tire. So that's why you need to do this in order to fit it. So once this is exposed and the inner uh, fender liner you took out and it's exposed, you're going to see your bare metal back here. Um, and that's the part that you really need to focus on and work on. You're actually going to cut into it and there's going to be a flap. Once you cut into it, you're going to open that flap up and you're going to bang it backwards and it's going to make more space. The second thing you're going to do is once you cut into it and do what you need to do and get that space, you're going to paint it because if you don't paint it, it will rust. So just get yourself some Rust-Oleum, paint what you cut into when you bent it back and all that stuff and you'll be good to go. The second thing is you're pretty much going to have to cut your inner wheel well liner about up to there just so you can have the space like you do in the in the back. And please excuse this dangling there. That's my old HID ballast and uh, fog light hanging there because I switched to all the LEDs and I was too lazy to uh, fix that so <laughs> excuse that but anyways you're pretty much going to do the same thing to the front that you did to the back in some cases you will have to trim this little angle here like I did just to give yourself some more space um, and that's pretty much it there's a lot of videos you can actually go to on YouTube to actually see step-by-step -step tutorial how to do it like I said I'm sorry I can't actually explain it too well but I just wanted to give you guys basically the gist of how it can be done because I got turned back from a lot of different people um, on doing this saying me I, telling me that I couldn't fit this I couldn't fit that and I was you know pretty much set on the tire setup I wanted so I'm like you know I am gonna fit this you know what I mean so I did it if I can do it anybody else can do it so, with that being said, that's pretty much how you do it. Um, once again, please subscribe to this channel. I am actually going to be, I promise, I am actually going to be doing things to the truck where you can actually see how I'm doing it. Uh, that's primarily what the channel is going to be about and just how to do things and stuff like that to your truck. So, once again, subscribe, like the video, comment. Um, let me know some things that I could do to my truck and what you would like me to do to my truck and what you would you know, like to see me do. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. There she is, sitting pretty. And I'll see you up in the next video. Stay tuned. Peace.